It's a beautiful day here in End Mountain. The weather outside is frightful, but in Mia's kitchen is delightful. Anyway, once again, you're welcome. Today, I am going to be preparing kale. Vegetable kale is found in every grocery store. It's not an African vegetable, but it's not an American vegetable. So every lo any local grocery store you can find it there. So I will show you the method I use to prepare it. After you've brought it from the store, remove the vegetable from the stem and slice in little pieces. Then you put water in the pot to boil. As it boils, you put the vegetable into the boil, boiling water. And you steam for about five to 10 minutes. If you want it to have the same greenish color, don't cover it while it steams. Don't cover the pot. Open the pot as the vegetable, as you steam the vegetable. So you will get the greenish vegetable color. I will be back with further preparation later. You stir and get a feel of it to ensure it's not too hard or not too soft. You just have to be right. Not too hard, not too soft. It's in between. Next, you put the boil scale. Uh, kale in the strainer to drain the water. Then you can cold water and squeeze with your hands. Here is our kale vegetable. Once again, it's spelled K A L E. Kale vegetable, which has been squeezed. Um, the only African ingredient I will be using is melon seed, also known as egusi. So I put in some egusi, as we call it, and put a little bit of water in it. Then that's my already steamed meat with stripe and some fresh tomatoes fresh tomatoes and cut onions which we will be frying in a minute you put in some canola oil in the pot when it's hot and ready put your onion to cook once your onion oil is up you put in your tomato. Fresh chopped tomato and stir. Put in two cubes of maggi, half teaspoon of salt, and maybe some of my fresh or blended spices. And put an eye on it to ensure it doesn't get burned and keep on stirring until the sourness is has been eliminated. And tomorrow it's still cooking. The same way I prepared my cabbage is similar to the kale. The only difference is with the cabbage, I don't put any egusi or melon seed. But with this, I'm gonna put some. So put your maggi and salt to taste based on your preference. 
next i'll put in my goosey bit by bit because i want it to form sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't i'm not really sure what's the catch so. my mom had told me that it's when you blend it with other things that has been previously blend in the blender it doesn't form so I don't have a choice because this is all I have I'll let it cook again for another 5 to 10 minutes if you can lay your hands on any igusi you can do without you can just use the tomato and put your meat and the vegetable in it that's okay yay i finally got the igusi to be firm real firm okay next i'm pouring for the my meat square last thing we need to add is our kale vegetable so sprinkle it into your sauce and stir to taste so here we are you remember greens back home so it looks like greens my friend had told me that once again what you need is the vegetable kale k-a-l-e chopped fresh tomatoes meat or preference of your choice a goose or melon seed pepper salt maggi to taste with a little bit of canola oil cook as shown like i said if you can lay your hands on the goosey you can do without just have enough tomatoes and you can eat it with fufu plantains yam potatoes the possibilities are endless so here is my vegetable fried vegetable kale thanks for watching